This is YOLO, also known as You Only Look Once. This family of neural networks is able to detect objects in an image at incredibly fast speeds. I'm Matt Clark, and this is video number three in my DIY drone series. Today, I'm investigating how I can make use of YOLO to detect people in video taken from my drone so that it can follow them around. YOLO? That's the name they went with for this? My research starts in 2016. The state of the art, the latest and the greatest, was RCNN and its fast variants. But don't be fooled though, by me saying fast, we're still talking on the order of 200 milliseconds per image to figure out what's in it. Joseph Redman comes along and just drops YOLO on the world. YOLO divides images into regions, then runs once over each region, and then combines all the characteristics found into the final result. This gave a hundred times speed boost over the fastest RCNN variant at the time. 2017 saw its follow-up release, YOLO 9000, which has a few tricks up its sleeve to improve performance. Oh my god. <laughs> it's over 9000! YOLO V3 was then released in 2018, drastically improving detection for smaller objects in a scene. SPOILER ALERT! SPOILER ALERT! In 2020, the original author of YOLO confirms he no longer works in the computer vision field. Understandably, the chaos this caused created a major nexus event in the YOLO multiverse. YOLO v4 appeared two months later, improving training times for new models, as well as another jump in inference speed. From here, well, we ain't in Kansas anymore. YOLO v5 arrived and caused more drama than a bad night out, branching off from YOLO v3 and fully re-implemented in Python. This variant seemed related in nothing but name. Benchmarks were published for performance, but a major question in the computer vision community was, are those benchmarks accurate and reproducible? The rates of improvements went sky high from 2020, with the most recent release being YOLO R. I've had a look now at what YOLO is, but I want to know how well it works in an outdoor setting. I'm travelling to my local park to see how accurate YOLO is at long distances. These experiments are all using the tiny version of YOLO v4, a compressed version designed to work better on weaker hardware. This is so you can get an idea of the worst case scenario for detections. I'm walking away about 20 meters or so down this slope. Let's see if YOLO can detect me. Oh my god, I am a professional, I swear. I'm actually really surprised that YOLO was able to pick me up right down there, even with everything going on around me. I thought I'd be too indistinct against trees and everything else. So I'm going to try and see just how far I can push it. If you see a rope swing, it's absolutely illegal if you don't have a go on it. Okay, maybe I'm not a professional, but I am trying though. Anyway. This open space looks great for a mega long distance test. In case I haven't mentioned already, all of my tests are done using 1080p footage taken on my iPhone X. I'm about 80 meters away at the moment, but I, I think that's a bit too far. Let's bring it in to about 60. No? 40? 20? Okay, that's starting to pick me up now with some reasonable accuracy. We've had a look now at how distance affects accuracy when detecting people. 
Now I wonder, how fast does it actually run on different hardware? Starting at the lower end, an NVIDIA Jetson Nano can run the full version at a slow 1 frame per second. But this nicely bounces up to about 5 frames per second when using the tiny variant. In complete contrast, an RTX 2080 Ti can run the full version of YOLO 4 at a crazy 400 frames per second. I don't actually have one of these cards, so I've pulled this number from some benchmarks. There's a link to those in the description below. On my drone, I'm already using the NVIDIA Jetson Nano as a companion computer. I did some experimentation, and I noticed that if I drop my input resolution from my camera feeds to about 640 by 480, that I'm able to get a quite respectable speed boost in terms of FPS. This means that if I try to use the tiny version of YOLO on the Nano in combination with this reduced resolution, I think we're in business. As usual, I've linked useful documentation in the description of this video if you want to learn more about using YOLO in your own projects. At this point, I've researched into computing depth of things and finding people in a camera feed. Next up is the hard part, bringing all that data together so that this drone can fly around and actually follow me. It's going to take me quite a lot of time to get this working, so in the meantime, I'm going to be uploading some smaller projects to tide you over until the big thing is done. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. I sure as heck enjoyed going out and researching this, and I'll see you in the next one.